Uh, Donald Trump today releasing a list of 88 former admirals and generals. Does this bolster his argument that he is prepared to take over as commander in chief if he's elected? Well, I think uh, any candidate likes any endorsement that uh, he or she obtains, and an endorsement from a general and an admiral is is important. But let's put it in perspective. There are about a thousand admirals and generals on active duty today. Every year, about 300 retire. As I look at this list, it spans decades. So, 88. They are admirals and generals, but 88 is not, a, frankly, a big number in the context, but it is uh, better than none. Now, I want to ask you about the diplomacy that we've been witnessing in the last couple of days. President Obama against Vladimir Putin, the the head-to-head -head face face-off, if you will, the the glares back and forth. No solution at all on Syria, on even a, a temporary ceasefire for humanitarian aid. Uh, it does seem that the U.S. is more disrespected in China at this meeting than it has been in the past? Well, as you've reported on already very well, the whole ramp gate uh, challenge, uh, people screaming at Susan Rice, the national security advisor, our press corps jammed off to one side. Uh, it is a surprising level of uh, confusion, let's put it that way. And I think it's pretty typical at the end of an administration that there is a sense that the current president is a bit of a lame duck. Even so, Andrea, as you look at those pictures and hear those stories, uh, this really is a level that's quite disturbing. And the Philippines, here you've got the Philippines leader. I mean, we have a, a very important base there, a naval base in the Philippines. And this kind of, um, you know, I don't even know how to describe what he said about President Obama. I have never heard uh, a serious head of state or government describe an ally head of state or government in that regard. We ought to remember, we have a treaty of alliance with the Philippines. Uh, we have a long history there. Half of my career was spent in the Pacific, in and out of uh, Navy bases in the Philippines. And by the way, I've never had uh, an unpleasant uh, event with the Philippine nation. Um, they are generally gracious, wonderful hosts and hostesses. So it is uh, very surprising the president did the right thing, disavowing the meeting. And I'll close by saying, uh, pretty shocking considering the pressure China is putting on the Philippines in the South China Sea. Uh, the Philippines need the United States as an ally. Having a head of state go after our president, not very good strategy. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.